Hey, James. What's poppin', dog? Why you been so whack lately? Ah, the sea. She be a cruel mistress. Teenagers stole our boat. Oh my they god. They also be a cruel mistress. What are we gonna do? We're stuck on this island, but I I feel like we're not gonna need the boat where we're going. I, I feel like we're close to the end. This this has to be the special place. As David Ooh. Byrne would say, this must be the place. And there's David Byrne's bento box <laughs> filled with his rice and his seaweed rolls. What was a what was that, a music box? This is Little Mermaid. And VHS. Now what does that represent? This game's full of subtext. What does the Little Mermaid represent? James just likes it. It's a it's a movie he likes. James didn't have legs. Mary didn't have legs. No one had legs. Uh, map, map. No, th on the wall. There's the map. You gotta get the map, you silly bully. James, you silly bully, get the map. James. James, get the map. James. Honey, get the map, please. I guess he can't do it with the lights off. He couldn't tell that there was a map there. Got to go to 312, just one away from 311. Oh, God damn it. Mary, Mary, are you there? Or maybe. Mary, I got a hotel map for guests. I don't know a 311 song. I almost did the thing I always do where I sing a Sublime song instead. Whoa. I'm really going to love you. Ah. I'm going to get my hands on the sound. A ghost! Oh, wait. I've been dealing with ghosts for the past nine hours. Did I scare you? <laughs> yeah. yeah, kid, I almost blew you your did. head off. You're here to find Mary, aren't you, James? Well, have you? No. Is that why you're here, too? She's here, isn't she? If you know where she is, tell me. I'm tired of walking. I had to walk over the lake like I was a I Jesus Christ. Knew. But she said it in her letter. What letter? Wanna read it? Nah, I'll pass. But don't tell Rachel, okay? Who's Rachel? She was our nurse. I took it from her locker. Along with some of these prescription pads I swiped, you about to get fucked up, old man. What you into? Oxy? Adderall? Uppers? Downers? My dearest Laura, I'm leaving this letter with Rachel to give to you after I'm gone. I'm far away now, in a quiet, beautiful place, filled with monsters. Please forgive me for not saying goodbye before I left. Be well, Laura. Don't be too hard on the sisters. And Laura, about James. I know you hate him because you think he isn't nice to me, but please give him a chance. It's true he may be a little surly sometimes. You liar! And he doesn't laugh much, but underneath he's a really sweet person. And he only shoots fat people. Don't ever get fat. Don't get fat around James. Laura, I love you like my very own daughter. If things had worked out differently, I was hoping to adopt you. Happy eighth birthday, Laura. Your friend forever, Mary. I hope I die on your birthday so that this letter makes sense. Laura. How old are you? Um... I turned eight last week. So... Mary couldn't have died three years ago. Man, I need to learn how to read calendars. Could she really be here? Is this the quiet, beautiful place she was talking about? Me and Mary talked a lot about Silent Hill. Fan she theories she mostly. All her pictures. She really wanted to come back. That's why I'm here. Maybe you'll get it if you see the other letter. The one, Mary. 
Huh? I must have dropped it. Laura. I gotta find it. Laura! Laura, you scatterbrain. You deserve to be an orphan. Ooh. Yummy, yummy. Oh, it's just another key. See, I thought it was a real fish. I thought you were going to do like a Heathcliff. A cat? Where you have like a really, a really tiny like single sardine, but then you like really daintily eat it with silverware like it's a big deal. This game needs some goddamn levity and I'm, I'm trying, Silent Hill. You're all dead wife this and dead wife that. Hey, buddy. Hey. It's like fucking Chrono Trigger. The fucking boss from the previous level is now just a regular enemy. This remake of My Two Dads is ridiculous. You better heal up, buddy boy. James is looking like he's in bad shape. Andy is almost out of health items because they got their ass kicked by a fat Polish guy. <laughs> Mr. James Sutherland, the videotape you forgot here is being kept in the office on the first floor. Beijing, Mr. Sutherland. <laughs> Mr. Sutherland. <laughs> Thank God, I left my Super Dave Osborne tape upstairs. Oh, that makes me sad because he passed away too. Do you think he's here in Silent Hill? I found the key. Oh, fucking puzzle solved. Hello police, there are monsters. <laughs> Ooh, what's in the gift shop? Nothing. James doesn't deserve gifts. Oh, save point. Okay. Oh, that is where I just was. I haven't tried all the doors yet. Why would I? They're all I know, fucking broken. It, it's like, it's the last level of the game, obviously. So this is where, like, we kind of have a greatest hits, you know? One last time, because everyone loves this song, let's start shaking some doorknobs. How much ammo do I have? Remember, you got that giant knife. Yeah, it's not that useful, though. I say use your handgun on the smaller enemies and conserve your, your bigger ammo. Are you sure about that? Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> I don't even know what that was. Oh god, is that the dog man from The Shining? Bitch. Stomper. Give her a good stomp. Nothing useful. I don't do laundry. That was Mary's job. And now that she's gone, I just wear my clothes and throw them away the next day. I can't ever piss. I can never piss. Not without Mary. Well.
crazy how the last level of this game is straight up Luigi's Mansion. Uh, Leg Lord, I'm trying to look at the painting. Do they have a little face in their stomach, or am I just seeing things? No pissing. Ooh, a little door. <laughs> Don't go in there. Warwick Davis is in there. Gonna go in there and visit Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Venus Tears. Open my ass, but don't. Oh my god, Andy phrasing. I got a can of thinner. That's good. That way you're not going to end up like uh, Eddie Dabrowski. You don't want James looking in a mirror and going berserk. It's funny you got a, a can of thinner because I didn't know that Stephen King uh, store his books in cans. That's that joke's making the cut. Yeah, there's nothing down here because the until we get the key to the restaurant. Because that said locked. It didn't say like. Yeah, it says this locked. door is damaged beyond repair. <laughs> so I guess we just gotta go upstairs. You will never be allowed in this room, James. We didn't program it. Yeah, let's make a mod pack for this game. Every every single door that's locked and will never open. It just says, we didn't model this room. We didn't model this room. I don't know who it is, but... Oh boy, I hate these guys. It's Bedhead Fred. God damn it. Yeah, you might just want to run from these bros. I gotta test the doors, though. Just... We're on the home stretch, and you're almost completely out of health items. Yeah, I can't get around him. A uh, hunting rifle? I would think that a shot... I literally get one shot in. For fuck's sake. Yeah, can you do me a favor and save right here? Okay. In case you whiff it. For the sake of entertainment, try killing with the the oh. knife. Maybe you can kill him like one or two hits. If I can get one hit. Okay, James, let's get a limit break on these guys. What materia did you put in your slots? I have slots? Oh my god, James doesn't have any slots. He's a dead man. Ace is my sword. The Menudo. One hit. This is a reverse speed run. It's a slow <laughs> run. Um, so there were two before. I guess the other one just he fucked off. He saw you with a giant sword and left. Here, switch to the hunting rifle, and when you hear them, just start pumping I don't have shots. A, I only them. have 17 rounds. Okay, never mind. I guess shoot them with the handgun and then switch to the the giant knife when they get close. We're actually trying to devise a strategy in the last level of the game. Before we haven't needed one. Everybody's been kind of a pushover. Even the bosses. Eddie was the hardest boss in the game and he's just a, a guy. A guy with a gun. I'm sorry, Wolfman, not scary. Wolfman with a gun, frightening. Dracula, he's an old man with hairy hands. Who gives a shit? Dracula with a gun, you're fucked. Think of another classic monster that, that can't be improved on with a gun. Gunman. Gunman. Without a gun, he's just a man. I could punch him. Gunman with a gun, he could kill Godzilla. Hell yeah. The bag is locked. But is it a fish bag? It could be the fisherman's bag. 
I have two keys. It was the fisherman's bag. I got and another you've key. Got another key. Oh I no. The designers ran out of ideas. <laughs> and it's just gonna be keys getting keys getting keys. Could the phone line be cut? Maybe you're in an alternate dimension full of monsters, you fucking jackass. That ain't. Oh, what's this? Nothing. You're a klaxon go off and suddenly everything turns rusty and a giant fucking pyramid man with a fucking spear chases you down a hallway that's bleeding from the walls and you're like, my God, they've cut the line. <laughs> I'm having flashbacks to Gone Home. Do you think one of the alternate endings is James goes back in times and uh, stops the assassination of JFK? Or he does it. Oh my god, James go back in time. I'm having some problems. James go back in time. I just said James goes back in times, and then I said James go back in time. I'm having some... F I'm hey, like Chris, Pat Patterson. These I'm are, going banana. These are books. These are books. <gasps> no, <laughs> James. That's right. Silent Hill, Texas. The final boss is Jack Ruby. Why do you, what do you think that big red diamond shaped thing is? Oh my God. He's the Jack Ruby. Yeah. Homer, Jack Ruby was a man. <laughs> medical book. I've read enough medical books. Medicine is bad. Don't do medicine, kids. Oh, my God. James, Ooh, was, that an James was an anti-vaxxer. If you're an anti-vaxxer in Silent Hill, you're not going to last long because without those health items, you're just going to get fucked up by monsters. My essential oils will protect me from Pyramid Head. It's a picture of this hotel. It's a very vain hotel. Uh, we got the 202, right? That was 204. Well, they're both locked. Oh, so we, we go check them out. Okay. I'll explore the rest of the floor later. Check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out. For a second, I saw the the the, uh, the dead bed monster, and I I really thought it was like a spring <laughs> trap. <laughs> All uh, orcs must die. You step on it, it just flings you away. Orcs must die. I have no idea what you're talking about. Never heard of that game in my life. Andy's angry at orcs must die because they made an online free to play version. And it didn't do well, and now it's getting shut down. And they put a lot of hours into it. I have about 400 hours, maybe. I got another key. All those hours. All those traps. All those orcs. Lost. Like tears in the rain. Time to log off. Can I grab it? So do we find Kevin oh. Spacey's apartment from seven? Okay, oh, take that joke again. Did we find Kevin Spacey's actual apartment because he's actually in real life a psychopath? I use the thinner. Town. Town. That's weird to have a combination lock that's, oh. I don't want to open, if this is Kevin Spacey's private. Tur. Uh, I yeah. If, if this is if, if this belongs to Kevin, I don't want to see the pictures that are inside Andy. Please, no. Tome. We're gonna get kicked off. Tow. We're gonna get kicked off of YouTube. Toriel. Tor. Top Tiger. Oh, Cinderella. Cinderella uh, music box. Now, Chris, you said it's kind of weird to have one that's with letters, but today we saw a emoji bike lock where you had to pick the right That's emojis. That's true. We so. did see an emoji bike lock. And I was like, oh my god, just like a Silent Hill. That's my next D&D character name. I'm emoji bike lock. Well, I unlocked this room for some reason. Uh, 
that was weird. Um, what? What the? Did I kill it in one hit? Yeah. Good for you. He went out, got a coffee, and then died. Oop, that looks like an elevator to me. Looks like a health drink. Oh. You know what? I, I know a lot of people have this idea that every Silent Hill game is just in the head of the protagonist, that it's all a dream. And I always find those theories really um, banal, you know? They're, they're exceptionally boring to say, oh, it's a dream. Oh, it's made up. Oh, they're, you know. But there might be some truth to it because apparently James and Harry were both people that just took fucking heaps of cough medicine, medication strength, and just downed them whenever they got like a paper cut. Time for some lean. You were knocking back bottle after bottle of Robitussin. <laughs> Yeah, but I I mixed it with Sprite, so it's okay. Oh, you got that perp? The shelf is empty. I'm kind of scared because I... Oh! I'm scared too. You're going to prison, James. What's that thing on the elevator say? There's a, there's a sign. I don't want to read it. It's loud. Okay, what about this that one? one? Stencils. It says stencils. Okay. Uh, maybe, guess... maybe over here? You're not allowed to have a shotgun. Employee regulations are posted here. They've got nothing to do with me. <laughs> I'm no employee. No smoking. I'm okay. going to smoke all I want. I can only go in there if I'm not smoking. Memo's hanging here. Okay. Uh, why can't I? Why can't I elevator? Yeah, what the hell is going on, elevator? Elevator. Take me straight to your bed. I'm so tired and I got a dream in my head. Maybe I'm supposed to go upstairs first. Great. So the, the last enemy of the game is an elevator that screams. Yes. There's a Griffin McElroy campaign. Yeah, the joke would be a lot funnier if they were still doing the balance arc. <laughs> we are like years away from that now. Pretend like we uh we recorded this in, in uh, 2017 and that joke would have been hilarious. Well, this game was made during that arc, so they took it was in 2001, so what the fuck? Uh, did someone just say James? Uh, I'm gonna walk away slowly. Okay, hell okay. game. It could have been someone outside. Oh, that's even scarier, Andy. If someone's outside our house, just going James. James, if you heed the call. Maybe the actual psychopath who snuck into our actual house IRL and plans to kill us is infuriated that we're so bad at Silent Hill. He's just shouting clues. He, she, or they. They. Just they. I don't want to, you, you know, it's 2019. Psychopaths can come in any. any well, it sounded like Mary. And the wind. Blows. Mary. Oh! One person. Wait allowance. I'm sorry. Does that say wait allowance? <laughs> allowance? Wait allowance. Never do that again. Ooh. Is that what the kids say ooh? No, they don't. Nobody does that. I okay, could... here's what we gotta do. We gotta, we're too fat. Drink the thinner. Maybe I am just a fat piece of shit. I couldn't get on the elevator or nothing. Oh god, I gotta take off all my clothes. It doesn't say one person in clothes. You know, I'm making- I'm fucking making fun of fucking fat-ass Eddie Dabrowski. Fully knowing 
I am that weight. I am that exact build and weight as Eddie. I I am a fat piece of shit. We're going to three, two, one, B. B. Basement. Are we going to B? B? Shut the door. The door shut button. Okay, maybe one. Baby. Ooh, another map. For employees. Let's see what's different. This tells you where the, the secret sex closets are. It says the secret sex closets are everywhere? Just letting you know, when you go in a hotel, they watch you sleep. There's a little compartment in every room. A nasty bellboy just sits in there wringing his hands. Ooh. I wonder if that's enough to set off the alarm. Weight allowance, one person, and if we sense a fucking music box, I'm gonna freak out. <laughs> then how are we supposed to transport food or, or, or silverware? What is with that really long doorknob? I don't know. Maybe it's supposed to symbolize long doorknobs. His longing for his dead wife, Mary. To slob on his knob. To slob on his knob. Jesus. Why are you, Why am I known as the bad one and you're known as the good one? Because that was a good joke. Oh, you're right. Several points for you. Andy's the good sibling. I'm the bad sibling. I'm bad, Ash. You're good, Ash. Goody little two-shoes. Oh, God. The second floor basement. DARPA chief. Oh, uh, uh, there, there, sorry. There on break. Pardon me. You're in the employees only section. I'm on fucking break. Nope. 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 Oh, hey. Hey. Over here. Nope. Oh, nope. Whoa. 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 Uh, I don't think you can come. To, I, I think uh, you're going to gotta have to go leave. around somehow. Yeah. They'll slap you with their wet noodles. Their wet, undulating, delectable noodles. Maybe that's why you're the, the bad one. That could be it. All right! It's Silent Hill on VHS! Hell yeah! Remember when we had to do Let's Plays like that? Where we'd have to actually set up a camera and film our televisions? Oh, I assumed it was the movie. Oh, see, I assumed it was a Let's Play done by three nerds who actually had to film their televisions when they did Let's Plays. And then one uh, wrote a very threatening letter to a girl he went on one date with and spent a couple years under house arrest. That's what I assumed happened. Welcome to Down the Rabbit Hole, <laughs> Silent Hill Edition. I mean, we have gone down a lot of holes. I have not seen any rabbits yet. Can you imagine if Silent Hill had rabbits in it? That'd be crazy. I can't remember the name of that group, but they were kind of the pioneers of doing uh, video game videos on the internet. And uh, I never knew they were real people. I thought that when Mega64 did their lampoon of them, I thought they were just making fun of nerds in general. I don't know much about early Let's Play. You know, the early Let's Play days, the wild days of the early internet. The 40s. Like, I'll, I'm gonna make an admission here right now, and you're not gonna believe it when I say this. I've never seen a single episode of the Angry Video Game Nerd. I have seen clips, but never an episode. I've seen, uh, Mom on Twitter. She's constantly, not our mom, but the person who goes by the name Mom. Uh, she's constantly posting uh, clips of Angry Video Game Nerd, and that's how I've absorbed it. Clench! I, uh, I... Clench! When the Channel Awesome thing happened, it wasn't that big a deal with me, because while I've seen Allison Pregler's work, and I really like her stuff, 
and I I like Lindsay Ellis's stuff that she's done since leaving that channel. I've never seen the fucking nostalgia critic. Uh, should I go back through the elevator or? Yeah, this is this is my new show. Things I haven't seen. It's very interesting, Chris. I've never seen cats. The play or the animals. I can't use the elevator. You're too fat. No, it's not giving me the. You're meh. fat. I guess I gotta go to the basement. It's the only place I can think of. I've never seen the sunrise. Guess they're off break. The the way you solve the puzzle is you wait 15 minutes. Yeah. Why does this room remind me of Grim Fandango? Because it's loud and obnoxious and it looks like shit. Which would be a funny joke if Grim Fandango wasn't the greatest point and click adventure game ever made. <laughs> no, it does. It does remind me of the uh, the uh, the puzzle in the woods. What key did you get? I think I got the boiler room key. That's not really helpful. Oh, bar key. Oh, you got the bar key. I was going to say, aren't you in the boiler room? <laughs> Wait, I got a can opener. Do you think I should go back to the... The storage closet with all the cans? No. Okay. That's okay, that's their twin brother. They're also on break. It's a it's a bad room. Oh. Uh, Whoa. Let's just be friends. Can I stab him with a key? Throw a bullet at him. It'll do something. Should I heal up? I can't tell how hurt I am. I think you're good for now. I think you can take maybe one or two hits. Luckily, I won't need to take a hit. Oh, yeah, baby. This is 15 hours worth of energy right here. Oh, wait a minute. This isn't health. This is a cooking sherry I've been drinking this whole time. Oh, boy. Oh, These no. These are monsters. I'm just drunk. You're looking sexy as hell, leg lord. Ooh, are there any cans over here? I see cans. She's got legs that go all the way up. And and then another pair of legs that go even higher than that. Hey, what do you think is in this can? I'm gonna guess some of those snakes that are actually like coils with like fabric on them. Can you imagine some asshole who like who would take it the extra mile? <laughs> to put it in a sealed can. To put it can. in a sealed can, you have to use an it opener. It also wouldn't in? work though, because yeah. you, you don't open it all at once. Unless you you use really powerful springs. You know what? It's Silent Hill, so it's probably full of like dangerous wasps with your dead wife's face. Ah, flaming snakes ate the nuts you brought for me. Open it. It was light bulbs. Of course. I'm going to eat one of these light bulbs, but only one. I'm on a diet. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that Uncle Fester thing. No, but James, you can have as many light bulbs as you want. They're light bulbs. What? They're low calorie. They're light bulbs. Oh. I'm They're so not bulbs. I'm sorry. I'm really drunk. Look, there's <laughs> bulbs, ranch bulbs, and mm. then for anyone on a diet, light bulbs. Da 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 Hey, what's up? Uh, welcome to our role play series where we role play in Silent Hill. I'm we're, the bartender. We're, we're, this is Dark RP. Cheers. Me and Andy have never seen Cheers. Get back RP behind RP underscore bar. Cheers. Okay. When Norm walks in, you have to say Norm. I just got to wait for Norm. Col that's I learned that from cultural osmosis. You know what? I know a lot more about uh, quarks bar in deep space nine chris knows about quarks he's gonna teach us all about uh this, quantum mechanics this is the Tell bar on, on the the uh the promenade of Tarek nor so when morn walks in we all have to go mourn is that a command mourn mourn your dead wife james you better or i'll tan your hide nature spirit Ooh, what's on the jukebox that's oh, broken oh Perhaps a thing to put my light bulb. Oh, man. There's no light bulb. What do we do? What do we do? If only I had got a light bulb in the, literally the room before this one. This is a terrible puzzle and a terrible bar. Oh, what? You know what? Look, it points me towards this door. Hold on. Let's see what they have on the jukebox. 
It's broken. Whack it like the fawns. I want to listen to- uh, I don't to, have anything to whack it with. I want to- you, you punch it with your hand. I want to listen to Rolling Stone's Street Fighting Man. I'm sorry, James does not know punch. Well. I got kicked here. out of the bar. <laughs> you know what? We should actually probably do another episode because it's probably another two episodes before this one's done. Okay. So go back in the bar. That's something funny I can say. We, we're supposed to be saying funny things? Yeah. You know what? I think we're good here. I think it's good to just headcanon. James opens a bar. And that's the end of the game. He just, he opens a bar in this hotel and he lives out the rest of his day. He doesn't need to know what's on that tape. It's only bad news. He's going to have his regulars, Red Pyramid, uh, the bed monster, not the leg person. They don't have a mouth. It's going to be all right, James. Hey, James. Yeah. Make me a white Russian. You're white and a Russian. Sacre bleu! <laughs> I'm a Russian! Dosk <laughs> vodanya, comrades! I don't know any Russian! <laughs>